Hey kindergarten, today off the supply table you need to get one white sheet of paper, one messy paper, one paintbrush, and one black crayon. I'm going to set the brush and the crayon off to the side right away. And we're going to start off by putting our name on the back of our white sheet of paper, just like we do for every class. Mr. Calvert, and you are my K, and whatever your secret code is, so either A, B, or C. Flip that white sheet over, and today we're going to be drawing a cat inspired by Paul Clay. So I'm going to start off by drawing a nice big circle head. Right, we can see that it's pretty big. Right, doesn't take up my entire sheet of paper, but about half of it. From there, I'm going to draw two diagonals coming down from the head. This is going to be my body. I need some cat ears so that way my cat can hear something. So I'm going to draw two triangles at the tippy top. Like that. To make the mouth, that's going to be another little triangle. So I'm just drawing this little V shape. And a small triangle that's upside down. So right now, a lot of triangles. I started with the circle head, two diagonals for the body, and I had one, two, three, four triangles for the ears, the mouth, and the nose. The eyes, you can make whatever shape you want. Maybe you want square eyes. Maybe you want diamond shaped eyes. Maybe you want circle eyes. It's up to you. I can also go in and I can draw another shape inside that if I want to, since mine were kind of big. When we saw Paul Clay's work, we saw that a lot of it was divided up into a lot of squares and designs. So I'm actually going to draw a vertical line coming down my face. And I can also draw a few horizontals and diagonals if I want. I'm going to do the same thing with the body. I might draw a horizontal, maybe two of them actually. A vertical. I do a horizontal coming out this direction. It's up to you how you want to break up your body. But notice that just by drawing some simple lines, I get all these boxes now and I can go in and I can add some fancier patterns now. So I start off by drawing the cat. Now I'm drawing some lines to break them up into some different shapes. I could do some angles. Same as over here. Maybe a curved line like that. Don't need to do it to everyone. Maybe I'll do Something like this, these curves. I'm pretty happy with how my cat looks. So I start off by drawing the body and the head, adding some nice details. Now I'm going to take that black crayon and I need to trace over the entire cat. Don't forget any of those lines. All right, so I've drawn my cat. I've traced them. My very last thing I'm going to do today is I'm just going to paint the background. We're not going to paint the actual cat today. We'll save that for next class. You have two options. You can either paint your background warm or you can paint it cool. We talked about cool colors already and those are green, blue, and purple. So you're welcome to use the green, the blue, and since I don't have purple in my temper cakes, I also have this little liquid water color that is purple, so you're welcome to use that. Or you can have a warm background, which is red, yellow, and since I don't have orange in my temper cakes, I also have an orange liquid watercolor right here. You need to pick one of those sets of colors and paint your background with it. So if I'm using my liquid watercolors, I'm just dipping it in, and I can paint. Be careful not to paint inside your cat. I'm just gonna do some blobs of color, actually. Careful not to drip. If I have too much on my brush, I'm gently wiping it on the edge of the cup. I don't need a wet brush when I do this, not like my tempera cakes. Using the toes of my brush. So I'm ready to switch colors. I'm gonna set that orange off to the side because I don't want to accidentally knock it over. And now I can 
clean my brush off in my water bowl, gently tapping it on the bottom of the water bowl. Now I can use either red or yellow. So I think I'm going to use some yellow. Getting my brush nice and wet and gently rubbing the edge of that temper cake. Now I can paint using that yellow. I want to see you use all three colors when you're working with your warm or cool. Right, so you can't just have an all orange background, you can't just have an orange and yellow background. I would like to see you try all three colors. Using the toes of my brush today. I'm going to be keeping an eye out for good brush users today. Almost done. Just got to use some red now. Get my brush nice and wet. Gently rubbing that temper cake. Notice that I don't swirl it around the entire thing. I just do one little spot. When you get this far, you are done for the day. So you need to start off by drawing your cat, then tracing him with a black crayon. Then we're choosing either warm or cool colors to paint the background. You can't use both today. All right. When you're done, this goes at the bottom of the drying rack. Make sure that your messy paper goes underneath it when it goes on the drying rack. 